Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Knights of Horror. It's your boy here, Sam and Tony. Uh, today we got uh, we want to talk a little bit more about some haunt updates and speculation. Um, earlier this week, we had some very upsetting news for both Tony and I. Yes. Um, from the uh, entertainment group behind Dark Horizon and uh, Queen Mary's Dark Harbor. Um, much to our dismay, uh, they will not be having a 2020 season. Right. Uh, they didn't rule out anything going forward, which is obviously really great, considering you know both of us are real big fans of the event. Yeah. However, it was still disheartening to hear that 2020 will not be happening for both of those events, especially because we were very much looking forward to returning to 20, uh, in 2022 Queen Mary's Dark Harbor. And should, you know, America happen and we ended up in Orlando, we literally were excited about Dark Horizons. So, Tony, yeah. you want to elaborate some more on the situation? Yeah, I, I think I'm very, I'm really sad about this, man, because uh, Dark Harbor was the first kind of big media event we've ever attended, and they really gave us a shot at, at attending this event to cover the event. Um, and, you know, that was really cool of them to do that. But on top of that, that was my first year last year going. Um, and I know you were supposed to go, but uh, I, know, I know around that time you, you got really sick, so you, you couldn't attend the event, which was uh, kind of sad that to hear that they're not doing it this year because I was really looking forward for you to get a chance to see it this time around. Um, but, of course, due to the, the pandemic going on in the world right now, uh, they just said that it's just best for them not to do it. Um, and you got to imagine, this isn't like your typical haunt. They actually have to set this up in a parking lot and uh, set up stuff on the boat. So it's not like your typical haunt where there's already a set theme park in motion and, um, you know, they just build mazes around said theme park, uh, i.e. not Scary Farm and Halloween Horror Nights are the two biggest examples I can give you. Um but this wasn't the only uh, like news that we've gotten of a cancellation of a Halloween event. Of course, earlier um, in, I believe, June, they also canceled uh, Mickey's Halloween Party, which is another big Halloween event for uh, uh, children of all ages, families, and everything. So, um, yeah, that was it, that was kind of like the first step of cancellation of, of Han events. Um, it started with Disney's uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, and then of course now we've got uh, Queen Mary's Dark Harbor not returning this year, which is uh, like I said a very big bummer. Um, if you guys remember earlier this year, we've gotten a chance to sit with the captain and of course uh, Scary Mary herself, um, and they gave us such a great uh, podcast. And uh, you know we were talking about some of the highlights for Queen Mary on them, and you know they were telling us some great stories. So it's going to be sad not to see those two characters this year. Um, of course, they did come out and say that they will be returning in 2021. Hopefully by then, come time next haunt season, uh, stuff has died down a ton. Um, right now, uh, numbers are really spiking in the United States, uh, especially over here in California. Our governor is kind of really kind of pissed off a lot, a lot of the uh, of Californians. And, uh, you know, he's got a meeting scheduled for tomorrow as of this recording. It's probably it probably already got released, so we don't know any information on that of of closures of all theme parks. So um, we we don't know how that's going to go. Uh, of course, another thing that a lot of people are speculating is not Scary Farms not going to happen this year as well. Um, just to elaborate a little bit on that, um, we don't know for sure if that's going to happen or not. It's nothing's been set in stone, nothing's been said yet. Uh, so. We're just kind of waiting on that one to see if they're going to do it or not. Uh, but what's given us a sign that it may not happen this year is the fact that they have not been doing the construction. Um, I know they had started before the pandemic uh, started, and there's been just wood and, and props laying around for not scary farms. So I think that one's going to hurt me and Sammy a lot too because we had a lot of fun memories there last year, uh, and we had a really good time. The light at the end of the tunnel, though, so far is Halloween Horror Nights, though. They have still continued to do construction. Um, our, of course, our good buddy over at Santa Clarita, Joan, has been providing a, a lot of uh, construction updates with that. So go ahead and check him out and subscribe to his channel, Santa Clarita, Joan. He uh, does amazing work, and he's pretty much been our source of construction updates through this pandemic. But uh, Halloween Horror Nights is looking like it unless something changes. Of course, like I said, the governor is said to come out and talk about the situation at hand right now. Um, Fourth of July weekend is coming up. Uh, so he's I think he's scared right now that, you know, numbers might spike and, and the virus and all that. But uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, I'm hoping at the very least Horror Nights happens. But um, 
if no haunt happened at all this year, yes, I would be very sad, but at the same time, I understand it's for Hey guys, quick update. Um, as I'm editing the video, I was sent uh, something uh, about Los Angeles Haunted Hayride. Um, of course, another haunt that is part of the lineup we were talking about. Um, this one kind of gave me a little bit of good news and hope, but again, as of this recording, we don't know what the governor is going to say tomorrow as far as what's going to happen with theme parks and, and events and, and stuff for the foreseeable future, at least early for, during the summer at least. But um, Haunted Hayride posted on their website there, accepting applications for the 2020 season as far as positions and to be part of their um, skeleton crew. So that is uh, good news that they are still hopeful to hopefully bring that event to life this year. Um, and I was really excited to see that this year uh, happen. The news was sent to me, of course. Uh, I saw it first by Chris West uh, 3 on Instagram. Um, uh, so shout out to you, Chris, uh, for sending that. That is really cool of you for uh, keeping me in the loop of that. Uh, and then, of course, the Booze Brothers in our group chat, uh, it got sent around as well. So shout out to them as well. But um, that's very hopeful. Hopefully that Haunted Hayride is one of the haunts that opens up this year. But we'll see what happens um, as far as the rest of the summer goes. So that was a little quick update for you. Now back to the uh, regular scheduled program. For everyone's safety, the best thing we can do right now, people, is just wear your masks and practice the social distancing. Um, of course, follow all the COVID guidelines. Uh, that's just the best thing we can do to, for a hopeful, at least we get someone who does a haunt season this year. So uh, any last words or anything you want to add to that, Sammy? Yeah, no, definitely. I got a couple different things I just want to add to this conversation. Obviously, I'm going to reiterate what Tony said, that wash your hands, wear your mask, yeah. and be safe out there. Um, and... I think it's a little disheartening because this was the weekend that LA County was supposed to be opening up. Yeah. And that looks like that's not happening now, obviously, because bars just got shut fight. down and all yeah, that. Bars yeah, bars just got shut down. Um, gyms are getting shut down. Places that already opened, like, for example, here in Arizona, you know, bars were already back open. Gyms were open. Restaurants were open and a lot of different other things. And just yesterday, as of this recording, um, you know, those got closed down for 30 more days here in Arizona. And Arizona tends to be a little bit more lenient than California when it comes to that. And right. then obviously you have the other big announcement. I mean, obviously we don't cover theme parks, but as a part of some core events are at theme parks. And you have like Disneyland who just said, hey, we were going to open for the 65th anniversary of the park. But now that's going to be canceled because obviously Spike, not safe. Workers aren't happy with it. So, um, you know, that, that, that is one thing that is kind of, you know, really sad is because if Disneyland's not opening, I don't anticipate Universal opening around anytime soon. Yeah. And depending on how Governor Newsom's uh, announcement goes, uh, you know, that may be prolonging things for a little bit longer, um, you know, maybe till Labor Day yeah. or something like that. Obviously, we don't know because, you know, neither of us have, you know, the inside scoop on that. But I'm imagining, you know, it's going to be another few weeks again before right. we can start trying to resume what we would call quote unquote normal life, um, which is sad. Um, but you know, like Tony said, I think, yes, we'll be sad if, if, if a haunt season doesn't happen, but I think what's more important is that, you know, we, we lose less people. I mean, unfortunately there's been a lot of people lost as a result of this. Um, and I would hate to lose someone that's a follower of this channel or someone close to me, you know what I mean? So, right. If that means we have to sacrifice a 2020 haunt season so that all of us could remain healthy, then you know what? Like, so be it. I would rather, you know, rather it not impact us and be overcautious than be undercautious. And then all this, you know, we lose someone near and dear in the haunt community. Right. Um, so, I mean, that's, you know, that's really what I want to, I really want to close up with is, you know, continue to continue to practice social distancing, washing your hands, wearing masks, and just being cognizant of your behaviors uh, and I know it's been rough you know we've all been doing this since March but uh, you know as long as we can keep you know treading on toward that bigger goal of you right. know opening up things again I think we can continue and you know if if you are experiencing anything like reach out to us like we're happy to like talk with you like because I know that you know some people um, you know maybe don't have a lot of people to speak with you know because of this or you know they can't see their friends and stuff so like we'll do whatever we can we're going to continue to push out content for you guys right um so that you know we can be a beacon of hope and a time of you know sadness and darkness yeah uh, and you know our dms are always open for you guys whether whatever you guys yeah. want to talk about um, yeah we're happy yeah. to talk and laugh and, and you know 
do whatever you guys need to do. No, I agree, and and not to mention, both me and Sammy both have control of of each account. So whether you get a response from me or from Sammy, more times it'll probably be me because you know either if Sammy's busy, I'll take over. If I'm busy, Sammy will look at that. If I haven't responded in a while, then he'll respond. But me and Sammy both look at the the messages and and look at the post and and Twitter as well. So I mean, we're both on the social media, and if you and if you don't feel like having to talk to me i mean you could talk to sammy if you don't feel like talking to sammy you could talk to me i mean we both got personal accounts as well and if if you follow those um you know you you can dm us on on those um whoever you feel comfortable talking with it whether not even us but like if you want to talk to family members i mean right now is the best time to really if you if you're really not feeling what's going on or you know depression's hitting or you just you know you're feeling you're just your your life's changing drastically really fast like just talk to someone. That's like the best thing to do right now because uh, letting it all out and venting it really helps a lot. Like it really, it really does. I mean, I talk to Sammy about stuff all the time, and it helps a ton. Uh, and I and I know Sammy knows that if he ever needs to talk to me about something, he he's more than welcome. That door's always open. Um, so you know, I I just want to say like if there isn't a haunt season, don't worry. Uh, we'll plan stuff around haunt season. Um, what would what would have been a haunt season? Maybe some live streams of some horror movies. We'll we'll, we'll still keep it very Halloween vibe uh, for haunt season. If, if anything doesn't go down, I mean, we don't know yet officially, so we're gonna we're gonna play it by ear, and uh, we'll keep you guys updated. But just know if there isn't a haunt season, we're still gonna we'll still plan awesome stuff with you, whether it be live streams, uh, special videos, a series of some sort, just to get you in that Halloween mood and, and keep you in that mood. But uh, yeah, guys, just just be safe out there. Uh, you know, it's really a, a really different time uh, in life right now. Uh, we are living through history right now with, of course, a, a big movement going on right now on top of uh, COVID-19. So we're living through history right now. A lot of history is being written, uh, and we're living through it. I'm hoping 10 years down the line, at least with COVID-19, we can just look back and kind of say, like, oh, man, I can't believe we got through that, you know? Um, but... Anything else happens, of course, with any other haunts, we will keep you guys informed. Uh, it was very kind of sad and hard for me and Sammy to really make this video because we didn't want to believe it. But sadly, that's just what it, what it is right now. But uh, to all those scare actors who work at uh, Dark Harbor and Dark Horizon, we, uh, we're with you. It is a very sad time, but I, I hope that uh, you guys can see some positive out of it. Maybe you guys uh, just, you know that's keeping your health safe and everything. Um, that's how we're looking at it. As long as your guys' health is safe so you guys can return in 2021, that's always the best thing. So uh, thank you guys so much for checking this video out. And uh, like I said, if there's any more news on anything else haunt season, we will keep you guys updated. Uh, of course, follow us on social media at Knights of Horror on Twitter and at the Knights of Horror on Instagram. And check out our merch store if you guys um, – are feeling you guys want to support the channel anyway we have a merch store so links in the description below um but we will see you guys soon mace treatments comes back uh this friday so check that out and of course the miles Horror podcast every week and uh east versus west this thursday as well so definitely check those out uh and we'll see you guys soon